Okay, um, I'm Katie Fitzgerald. I'm a senior here in the civil department this year. Um, and I'm here to just tell you a little bit about my experience at Chico State so far and some of the research I've gotten to do. Some of the activities I've been able to be a part of here are uh, MIDCAC. I know a couple people in here are already on teams. Um, last year and this year, I've been in the geotechnical competition, which is great. You build a small retaining wall using friction tie backs. And it's really exciting for me this semester because I'm in foundations. So as I'm learning in class and listening to uh, information about retaining walls, mechanically stabilized earth, it really means something to me because I'm thinking about going to my meeting tonight and applying what I'm learning right away. I had a really good opportunity to um, do some surveying with Professor Spinell at Verbena Fields. Uh, they did a flood plan. They moved her, created themselves a flood plane. I came in at the end of the project and they wanted an as-built topographic map. So I wandered around the field and did a GPS survey. Really good to learn more about that. I've had an opportunity to work on the engineer website. Uh, if anyone hasn't looked at that yet, it's excellent. You can go on there and get different tutorials. I've done some narration and a couple of the example problems. So, you know, take a look through, see what you're going to be in in classes soon. And there's some great tutorials for static, surveying, fluids, uh, earthquake. As far as some of the research I've done, I also spent uh, about a year and a half with the California Pavement Preservation Center, which was great. In my soils class, Dr. Chung announced that he wanted a student assistant, so I applied. And he put me on a life cycle cost analysis project, uh, which was great. I learned a lot about transportation. Life cycle cost analysis, you just need to consider all the costs that are gonna happen throughout your project, right? So if you put down uh, two types of road, how much is the initial construction, how often does the maintenance need to happen, how much does the maintenance cost, um, things like that. And it was good to learn more about transportation that way, but it's also a very widely applicable idea. Every time you build something, you need to think about its use throughout its life. You know, how much does it cost initially, maintenance, what happens at the end of its life, what happens when it's no longer useful. I also had a good opportunity to work on some technical writing there. Every project I was on, I got to contribute to reports somehow, and some of the reports I got to write almost solely by myself, which was great to have um, the opportunity to do and to be able to turn it into Dr. Chung, get um, comments back, grow that way. I had some really fun research, um, both field and lab testing. Got a couple pictures. Here we have uh, a fog seal going down, so I got to go out, see the construction, do some tests in the field. You can also do sand patch testing, which gives you the texture depth of the road, the difference between the top of the aggregate and the valleys between them, which you think about it, it's important to know how deep the texture is for drainage on the road, for uh, friction when you try to stop your car. I don't know how well you can see the pictures. The picture part of the left is the dynamic friction tester. Also important, you test it on wet road and you can determine whether it, you can safely stop in a car on that road still. There's a lot of good lab testing that they did here. I've been involved in quite a bit of it. If you haven't been down to the concrete lab, you will soon, soils and concrete. There's a new machine in there, the uh, dynamic shearometer. Very exciting. You can test the viscoelastic properties of things. So we've been testing like the viscosity of asphalt binder things like that. Um, I also have a picture of a softening point test just for asphalt binder. Right now I've been able to start working on a project with Dr. Hazelton, um, collapse loading uh, reinforced concrete and high performance fiber reinforced concrete frame components. And these are columns. And this is to improve structural modeling. So you see the picture here, we have a giant, it's a full size column. If you look, you can see people on the crane panel right there. This is our first test specimen that was tested this week. Last Thursday. Last week. Last Thursday. Okay. Right. So this is important because right now there's currently some gaps in uh, testing that's been done that they build structural models off of. A lot of the testing that's been done, there hasn't been sufficient deformation to um, simulate collapsing. Right? So they've done a test. If you have a problem, they pushed it a little bit, but not far enough. There's also little research into how the beam and slab 
right? If you have a column, it connects to the footing at the bottom and beams and a slab at the top, either your floor on your second floor or the roof of your building. So when you move that, the beams in the slab are going to contribute to your stiffness, right? So more information on that is going to be very important. And finally, there's been very little research on the high-performance fiber reinforced concrete, and that stuff's really exciting. Um, it has a tensile strain hardening effect, which slows down spalling, happens later. And spalling, you can see, I hope you can see in this picture, is when the concrete outside of your rebar breaks away, and then you have nothing to confine your rebar anymore, so you could get rebar buckling, and there's a really extreme picture right there. You've obviously lost strength, right? All bad. All bad if that's your building. I like this. We have like a progression of the first specimen being built. You have the rebar being put together, frames going up, pouring concrete, and finally shipping to the testing center. So after testing is kind of where I come in on this project. I get to um, glue all the pictures together as they test it and load it. There will be three different cameras on the column taking pictures at regular intervals. So I'm going to paste all those together and then it will be ready for review. And um, there will be an external view, right, of all those videos pasted together. And they're also looking internally at what's happening. And you can look at that side by side. So that will be very valuable. I'll also be putting together videos for outreach for, you know, videos for maybe high school or presentations here to new students. And for me, in the future right now, I'm applying to graduate school, hoping to work in industry and to teach sometime in the future. So that's kind of my experience so far. <laughs>